Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we'll be painting a cheesecake. <laughs> Actually, I'll be painting another cheesecake, which means I've done one before. And this one only from a different angle or perspective. And I'm so excited because I just love painting um, food, uh, food subjects. So yeah, let's proceed now. And let me tell you the colors as usual that we'll be using for today's painting. Okay, we have um, red, okay, permanent magenta, burnt sienna, cat yellow, vermilion, and black. So yes, let's proceed now guys. Let's proceed now. Mm, by the way, let me tell you that tomorrow, hmm, I'll be buying. Uh, I'll be buying some art materials. Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me get first my burnt sienna, and let us first underpaint the the cake. It's quite watery. Okay, like that. Mm -hmm. Like that. Alright. I'm going to add yellow to the burnt sienna mixture. And then maybe a tiny bit of orange. Like this color. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to, okay, like this. Alright, I'm gonna get my red now and try to blend it with the red. Okay, red. Even permanent magenta. Okay, so I'm just combining the two. Okay, I'm gonna get my permanent magenta now and let's do some cherries. <laughs> like that. Okay, I'm gonna add red to the permanent magenta here. The cherry near us. Then I'm gonna get again my permanent magenta here. It's not visible at the moment, like not that visible, but when we do the highlights later, um, it will be more visible. Okay, for now we're just um, color blocking. All right. Okay, you can. No, 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 no. We can actually proceed to doing some cherries below. So I'm gonna get, again, my permanent magenta. Maybe mix it with a tiny bit of burnt sienna to make it more dark. Yeah, like that. Okay, here as well. Same mixture, magenta plus red. Like that. Okay, here as well. Okay, same mixture, guys. Red and permanent magenta. Okay. 
Okay, like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna change my brush because this is quite um, uh, big and uh, wide. So I want something that's a little more pointy. Okay, let me just reapply some paints. that mm -hmm. right okay I'm gonna change my brush now I'm gonna get some more pointy pointy brush okay I'm gonna okay I'm gonna get my permanent magenta plus black tiny bit of black because our black is quite um, pigmented so I'm just gonna make some black detailing here or dark, not black. Dark detailing on the cherries. Like that. Like that. Mm. All right. Here as well. Okay. And here. Okay. I'm just gonna use my finger in applying it as usual you know me <laughs> I always um, uh, make use of my hands <laughs> okay like that <laughs> all right okay I'm gonna get my black and then burn. Oh, I mean, sorry, black and magenta again. I think this is too dark. Okay, if it's quite dark. I'm just gonna do some shadowing here. Mm. Like that. And here. So I'm so so excited because tomorrow yay, I'm gonna buy some art materials it's been a while you know <laughs> okay like that like that <laughs> and um, okay I'm gonna go up and use my finger Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna wash my brush up, my brush up. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna get some red color just for um, like light, like glaze, you know. This cake is like, uh, what do you call this? Glaze uh, cheesecake. So there will be like some syrup um, all over the cake. <laughs> okay, what should we show? I'm gonna get my black now, guys. Black, and I'm gonna add some burnt sienna to it so that it's not absolutely black. So it's like this color. It's actually black. You cannot, you cannot really differentiate. You cannot really tell the difference. But uh, well, if you do this and look at it closely, you can tell. And yeah so I'm just gonna use brown and black combined here again we're gonna do the highlights later for now it's gonna be like this we're color blocking which is my favorite part aside from highlighting color blocking uh, helps me finish it as if you know finish it or psychologically makes makes me think that I'm done 
because I've color blocked it already. That, that makes sense? <laughs> so I'm gonna get my black and red combined and just continue the application here. Okay. All right. Okay, you can wash your brush out. Um, okay. Oh, did I say we're gonna use, we're gonna be using um, vermilion? It's like red orange. So I'm just gonna get my vermilion, guys. Add a tiny bit of red. Okay, and then you can water it down um, here because the light is coming from the, uh, like it's the, what? <laughs> Spotlight it. It's not a word. <laughs> Okay, the light is coming from you, the viewer. Yeah, okay, that's that's safer to say. <laughs> okay. Mm, all right, like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, you can wash your brush out. Wash your brush out. All right. And then I'm gonna get okay we're gonna do the the middle part or the the pie okay I'm gonna get my yellow hmm, I don't know burnt sienna okay like this hmm, maybe white white as well um, like that okay white like this okay like this color then I'm gonna add more brownie color like this and we're gonna try guys we're gonna try but uh, okay I think this is good enough okay yeah all right I think this is good enough okay. you can add more white if you want to but we will be using our spoon and fork later just like uh, as if we're using the palette knife okay i've already explained that in my previous videos but i'm applying in the mixture quite um like um, what do you call this quite unevenly because uh it's bread you know um Oh, no, 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 it's not really super red, but it's uneven, cannot be perfectly shaped. Okay, so here as well, guys, look how I apply it. Like, it's so, it doesn't have any particular pattern. <laughs> I'm not following anything. Right? and go to the middle part as well are we recording yes we are okay. all right i like that mm. okay mm. okay just like that and once this dries we're gonna make some reflections. All right. All right, like that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, mm, wait, guys. Okay. Wait, guys. I'm gonna water it down. This mixture, I'm just gonna water it down because it will be glazed later. But, um,. The bread part should show through. Let's just call it bread part, okay? I'm I'm referring to the yellow, yellow thing, not the glaze. So let's glaze this part. I mean, let's paint this part with some yellow mixture because it will be glazed, guys. 
and you know glazing it's translucent usually usually okay we're gonna wait for it to dry now okay wash your brush up then I'm gonna get my burnt sienna mixed with a tiny bit of black okay I'm just all right okay I'm testing guys I'm watering it down okay all right okay this is it so it's just burnt sienna in black Alright, like that. Mm. Okay, again, burnt sienna and black, guys. Not changing. It's, it's actually wet. Mm, the yellow mixture, but mm, I want to do it <laughs> right away. Okay, like that. Okay, get your black. Just black, guys. And then make some black applications here on top. And then I'm going to add some white to it to make it kind of gray. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like this. So it's like dark gray. Yes, like that. Hmm. All right. Again, just going to add more white this time. I'm just going to add more. Where's my white? Anyway, hmm. I'm going to add white to that and burnt sienna and then white oh i'm confused with my own colors <laughs> okay like this color and then i'm just gonna apply it here maybe i'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to it because it's not uh, okay like that to tell you that I'll be using white. I don't know. I think I forgot. All right. So titanium white, guys. And then here, just make some highlights. Alright. 
here as well. Like that. All right. And I'm gonna mix my white with some red color. So it's like pink. Okay. We're gonna highlight our cherries down here. This is not the final highlights, guys. This is just to identify we we're gonna apply the final highlights. This also provides some, um, uh, what do you call this? Realistic highlights, because not all highlights are white. Some are just gray, some are yellow and all that. <laughs> Okay, you can wash your brush out now. So I'm gonna use my spoon, again, as an alternative to palette knife, guys. And I'm just gonna uh, get my white and yellow, like this, like this color. Maybe add a tiny bit of brown. And I'm just gonna do this. Okay, like that. Actually, and then I'm just gonna tap like this. I'll be getting more um, white later. So, um, like that. I think I need more white, by the way. <laughs> I lost all the white paint. All right, so I'm getting my white now, but I'm not mixing it though, like that. So that we create that crust, I mean, not, not, not crust. Sorry guys, what am I saying? <laughs> it's not crust, it's like the bread. It's the meat of the cake, <laughs> like that. So just tap. Or if you're using your palette knife, same um, procedure. Just tap, guys. Mm, so that you create that appearance of uh, uneven, uh, unevenness of bread or cake. Okay. Also here, don't forget the middle part. It's also part of the cake. If, uh, okay, because it's still wet, so, okay, like that. We're gonna do some more of this later using another color. For now, it's gonna be like that. 
Alright guys. I'm gonna get this color now. It's a combination of burnt sienna plus yellow. Again, burnt sienna plus yellow, guys, but this time it's watered down. Oops, gosh. I'm going to add some tiny bit of orange to it. Okay, watered down, guys. Water down. gonna make now some um, some shadowing right, like that okay I'm gonna go back to glazing gonna get my vermilion okay like that tiny bit of yellow mm, like this color and red water down guys water down when you do this technique though you have to be careful I really love doing this technique, by the way. I only learned this technique on my own, to be honest. I've never seen anyone do this, but <laughs> if you don't do this, it's all right. It's okay. You don't have to be to copy that, to copy that style. If you have your own style, go ahead. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, you don't have to copy it. So I'm just glazing. All right, now I'm gonna get my red color, red, just red, and then bur uh, permanent magenta. Also watered down, and I'm gonna go on top of my orangey color. All right, and then. Water down like that. All right, I'm gonna do it the same here. It's gonna go. This mixture again let's go back to the cake now I mean to the meat of the cake I'm just gonna tap in more white and yellow and brown come by here as usual you get to hear that sound <laughs> okay like that Mm. all right maybe i'll just use my brush now so that i can control it more so i'm just gonna apply some bumps okay i'm gonna use some burnt sienna and yellow Okay, this color guy. Mm. And 
and then we're gonna do some natural you know some natural bumps to make this cake more realistic Okay, washi and I'm gonna add one more cherry. So I'm gonna get my permanent magenta and red. Okay, just like what we did earlier, you know, I'm just gonna make another cherry here just to cover it properly. All right, like that. Then I'm gonna get my vermilion. To make some oh it's mixing to make some areas quite light okay I'm gonna add yellow to the vermilion sorry guys I like um, breathing um, like that because you know I was thinking of something <laughs> also here mm. All right. okay what should we shout all right so I'm just gonna make some burnt sienna and yellow and ver vermilion like this let's go back to doing some detailing here hmm. like that <laughs> okay wash up a shout guys I'm gonna get my white and then reapply some highlights. Like that. Okay, like that. Mm. Then I'm just gonna, oops. Okay. I'm just gonna apply some highlights here and there. I'm gonna get my black now. And then I'm just gonna make some black highlights. Oh no, 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 black highlights. I mean, black details um, to be more uh, realistic. Wash your brush out, guys. Let's go back to this 
orangey mixture. The, the same mixture that we use for the glaze, guys. Just gonna go here. Okay, you can water it down just for easier application. Okay, I'm gonna get my red this time. Mm. With black, okay. I'm gonna add more black detailing here, like that. Okay, get your black and red. Okay, okay, just black, black guys. Okay, now. Before we go back, okay, I'm gonna extend this. Okay, actually, before we go back to the meat of the cake, you know, to the meat, I'm referring to the middle part, to the yellow part, we're going to do some, okay, it's quite dry now, we're going to do some reflections on the glaze or syrup. So I'm going to get the mixture that we used for this meat of the cake, and that is this mixture, okay. Um, I'm gonna water it down guys because that is my most favorite technique <laughs> and I'm gonna apply it quite gently because the okay I'm gonna be quiet now just watch me paint so my application is quite gentle and watery of course as usual because you know um we're doing reflections by the way and it can be a little bit distorted because again this is reflections or this are reflections um in the syrup this is not a mirror reflection which means um, this is more distorted or it is more lenient when it comes to um, details I'm gonna get my burnt my burnt sienna I'm gonna lighten this part oops it's quite dark quite dark I'm gonna paint over it later, but for now, let it dry. Okay guys, I'm gonna get my permanent magenta. And make some detailing on the top cherries mm -hmm. All right. 
like that. Mm. All right, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Mm. All right, okay, wash your brush out. So I'm going to use my burnt sienna plus white. Actually, my burnt sienna is in the red color or in the red shade. So I'm going to add some orangey to it so that it becomes in the yellow shade. Okay, like this color now. And I'm going to make some bumpy, bumpy. <laughs> like that, like make it more bumpy. Mm, okay, here, I'm gonna apply some of that here. All right. All right, also here, water it down, just, uh, you know, Okay, I'm gonna add some yellow, yellow it, yellowy, yellowy mixture. Oh. Like that. It's a different technique, right? <laughs> but it makes my painting um, <coughs> more realistic. All right, before we do some more detailing on the cherries, hmm, let's make some more cherries. Okay, I'm gonna get my permanent magenta plus red. Okay, here. Okay, again, red. Mm. All right, just two, yeah, like that. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the detailing later. I'm gonna get my magenta plus black. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> Yeah, like that. Mm. Okay. Okay, wash your brush out. Get some of this color and then add burnt sienna, like browny color, and then yeah, like this color. Add more bumpy, bumpy. Okay, like that. You can even water it down just to, mm, yeah. Like that. Hmm? Don't oh, don't do it too much because you're gonna smear the paint. I don't want to use my hair dryer this moment because the hair dryer actually mm, ruins the texture. You know, sometimes I have noticed that, so I don't want to use it because our painting is quite textured, so yeah. I can do wet on wet anyway. I do not prefer wet on wet, but I can, okay? <laughs> All right. Mm.
Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get some pinky color, so red and white. Okay, I'm just gonna highlight our cherries. Um, you know, one day, guys, I just realized that. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you, but one day I will make a video of um, why I'm painting, how I started and when I started painting. It's been three years though since I started painting and yeah. It was the start of forever. I did not stop after that. Uh, it was a <laughs> very... Um, well, anyway, maybe I should just cover it in a new video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, get some white guys, white. Then pinky color. Okay, I mean light pink guys. Hmm. Right, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my magenta and color it and make some more um, like depth, depth or dark uh, spots on the cherries. Get some red, guys. Okay, I'm gonna add some white to it because it's not showing. Again, pinky color. Mm. I think, you know, before, um, I just deleted that video, but I I've already explained how I started painting and what made me do it. Of course, it was my decision to do it, but what happened that triggered me to do it? Um, yeah. I never thought I'd be <laughs> painting, really. I just realized it today because, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'll just tell it in a separate video, not here. So I'm going to get my light orange mixture, mm, like this. Mm. 
I'm just glazing, glazing. I don't know why suddenly I I thought about it. All right. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna get the brownie mixture that we have here, and then I'm gonna add some yellow to it. Add a tiny bit of vermilion. We're gonna make some like leaf like that mm -hmm. like that all right get your black guys black just to outline it <laughs> All right, like that. All right. Okay. Wash your brush out now. I have to glaze this part already. So I'm gonna use a bigger brush to make the glazing quite faster. Okay, I'm gonna get my, my black mixture. I'm just gonna dab, I'm just gonna dip it in water to make it more watery. <laughs> and apply some black like that. That's too much, I think, but I'm just gonna use my towel. Like quite bright because of the light but when it's dry uh, the glare you know will disappear okay I'm just gonna get my black now oh did I get that? I just fixed that. Where did I get that yellow? <laughs> All right. Okay. So now I'm going to use some gray mixture. So white, I mean black, and then white. Mm. Oh, that's too dark. Mm. Right, like that. What's that sound? <laughs> I think my my neighbor is uh, washing the dishes.
Can you hear that? All right, so. Okay, I'm gonna make some more detailing. I think I really have to get my um, uh, hair dryer. So wait, guys. Wait, guys. actually move on from the wet on wet to um, dry sorry sorry wet on dry okay so okay excuse the sound that it will be making but dry it's not absolutely dry because reeves dry so slow all right so let me i don't know is it oh it's tacky i'm gonna all right okay enough of that <laughs> I'm going to do more detailing this time, so I'm going to get my white paint. Pure white, guys. Pure white. Alright, and then I'm going to apply, I don't know, here. Here. That's too much, though. Okay. So just use some tapping um, motion. All right, and then I'm gonna use my white this way um, so that I create an even um, an even shape here. And also here, let's go back. Mm. Okay. You can also mix some yellowish color just to be more realistic. 
empty like that. I'm gonna apply some dark brownie, um, dark yellow mixture so that you know mm, it becomes more natural. All right. And then more detailing, guys. detailing mm. all right okay that looks nice Okay, let's use this yellow mixture just to fix uh, some areas in the reflection part because, um, yeah, just fix some areas here. Now I'm just gonna fix the cherries. So again, magenta guys. I'm just gonna fix that because I think I lost the, the shape of it. Okay, I'm gonna add some black mixture, I mean black color to the magenta. Let's define it. Gosh, I'm so, so excited for tomorrow. I mean, I mean, I'm so excited about tomorrow because I'll be buying my stuff. <laughs> okay. Get your black. red I can tell it has red Just to separate the cake from the from the cherries. Mm. All right, can wash your brush out. All right, 
Get your white. White. Pure white, guys. Your black and brown. Okay, like that. All right. Okay. Wash your brush out. Make some more detailing on the leaf. You can dry brush. Mm. All right, like that. <sighs> I'm gonna get my black. Sorry, guys, I keep on like breathing like that. Uh, You know, I just thought of something. Uh, I'll share it with you someday, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, I'll wash your brush out. I'm gonna get this mixture that we already had, the brown and orange-yellow mixture. Mm, like that gonna highlight this part because it's like lit lit uh, from behind also here I'm just applying it so that it becomes it looks more natural Hmm. Okay. In here on the glaze part. Your pink mixture, guys. So it's like red and white, mm, like that. And then apply some highlights. Get some red. Alright, and then get some black. Okay. Get some black, guys. Okay. 
let's just fix this. So I'm just I just water down some red and glaze it like that. And also here perhaps because I couldn't think of any other way to make it more um, like real. Okay, and let's go back to the mixture of yellow and black. Okay, wash your brush out. Alright, get your what? And apply more highlights. Like that. Here. more white okay. I'm gonna glaze uh, I'm gonna water down my white and apply it here I'm gonna water down my white. Water down, guys. To make it more natural. Just gonna apply the excess paint here. Uh, you don't have to do this because um, it's not really part of it, but mm. <laughs> it's nice, right? It's nice. I'm gonna get my white again. <laughs> to add more um, details like that all right just dry brush
That's really nice. Okay, <laughs> I think we're done. I think we're done, guys. Mm hmm. Right. What do you think? Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. Slightly, yeah, like that. Okay, and then black. Mm. All right. <laughs> Black guys, just adding more details. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. Um, mixed with brown. Okay guys, this is quite, mm, all right. Okay. I'm gonna water it down. Guys, be careful not to smear, okay? Okay, I really like this technique, you know? Okay, again, some white Hey, that's really nice. Looks so nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm adding red. Just for it to be more realistic. Mm. Okay, guys. All right. <laughs> That's nice. So nice. Okay, I'm gonna sign it now. I'm gonna use. Sorry, guys. Mm. I'm gonna use my white to sign here so that it can be seen because. Oh, it's just a chair. Anyway, chair is fine. All right. Okay. <laughs> Wash your brush out and we're done. Not yet. Uh, finish this one. All right. And also, mm, this one. Okay. Just like that. Now we're done. Okay. Not yet? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Sorry, guys. Hmm. I'm gonna make some more highlights here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. We're done, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you also do this one. I'm gonna link the other cheesecake um, tutorial that I did before. But yeah, I hope you do both of them. If you do both of them, please tag me, okay? So yes, see you on my next video, guys. <laughs> guys. Love you.